the Buddha once said that wisdom and discernment begin with a question, what, when I do it, will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness? The reason this is wise is because you realize that long-term is better than short-term, and it depends on your actions. From that, he would recommend three qualities or three activities that are conducive to long-term welfare and happiness. There's generosity, and there's virtue, and there's meditation. If you want your happiness to come, be complete, it has to involve all three of these. So we've given the meal. We're sitting here and we're not harming anybody right now. So we're going to develop good qualities of the mind. That's what the word meditation actually is in Pali and Bhavana means to develop. Developing good qualities, developing good will to begin with. We have to have good will for ourselves, good will for others. Because that desire for learned home welfare and happiness has to keep good will in mind. So that you don't go slipping back to short-term happiness or forgetting that your actions do have consequences. So you want to make sure that you don't just give in to impulses for a quick satisfaction of saying something or doing something. You want to look at the long-term consequences and be able to say no to anything that's going to get in the way of your true happiness, the long-term happiness, and say yes to all the things that would lead in that direction. So there are these activities of being generous, giving of your time, giving of your energy, giving your forgiveness, in addition to giving things. abstaining from all kinds of harmful behavior, and trying to develop as many good qualities in the mind as you can. This is where true happiness lies, because it doesn't harm anybody else. And it provides a sense of well-being that goes deep into the mind. Because with generosity, there's a certain pleasure you can get from holding on to something, but there's a different kind of pleasure that comes from learning how to give it away. With virtue, there's a certain pleasure in saying and doing certain things that might be harmful. But there's even greater happiness that comes from learning how to say no and sticking with that decision to say no. As for the meditation, there may be difficulties involved in getting the mind to settle down and in developing thoughts of goodwill and developing concentration, but the results when they come are more than worth the difficulties. So there may be some hardship involved, some holding back and some restraint involved in finding true happiness, but the results when they come are more than worth it. So you want to keep your long-term welfare and happiness in mind and look at your actions to make sure that they are going in that direction. 